SN2014J was a type Ia supernova in Messier 82, the Cigar Galaxy M82, discovered in mid-January 2014. It was the closest type Ia supernova discovered for 42 years, and none have been closer as of 2018. The supernova was discovered by chance during an undergraduate teaching session at University of London Observatory. It peaked on 31 January 2014, reaching an apparent magnitude of 10.5. SN2014J was the subject of an intense observing campaign by professional astronomers, and was bright enough to be seen by amateur astronomers. Topic. Discovery The supernova was discovered by astronomer Steve Fossey, of University College London. Fossey was training four undergraduate students Ben Cook, Guy Pollock, Matthew Wilde and Thomas Wright to use a small 0.35 metres 14 in telescope at University of London Observatory, located in Mill Hill, North London. The discovery was serendipitous, because Fossey was not searching for supernovae, had not planned to look at M82, and only wanted to take advantage of a short gap in the London cloud cover. He later said that the weather was closing in, with increasing cloud, so instead of the planned practical astronomy class, I gave the students an introductory demonstration of how to use the CCD camera on one of the observatory's automated 0.35 m telescopes." At 19.20 Greenwich Mean Time on 21 January 2014, Fossey and his students noticed a bright new star in their images of the galaxy Messier 82, also known as the Cigar Galaxy. After comparing their image to archival ones of the same galaxy, they used observations with a second telescope to eliminate the possibility of an instrumental artifact. Their discovery was reported to the International Astronomical Union's Central Bureau for Astronomical Telegrams, who confirmed that they were the first to spot the supernova and assigned it the name SN2014J as the tenth supernova discovered in 2014. Topic. Observations. Follow-up adaptive optics observations with the 10-meter Keck telescope at Mauna Kea Observatory, Hawaii were used to precisely determine the location of the new supernova. The first optical spectrum was obtained using the 3.5 meters ARC telescope in New Mexico, which showed the supernova to be of type Ia. Pre-discovery recovery images were found that showed the supernova as early as 15 January, six days before discovery. Early indications were that the supernova had been discovered approximately 14 days before maximum light, so it would get brighter over the following fortnight. It was predicted to be bright enough to be visible with binoculars throughout the northern hemisphere. The supernova continued to get brighter until 31 January, when it peaked at an apparent magnitude of 10.5. SN2014J was a popular target for amateur astronomers because it was located close to the Plough Asterism the Big Dipper and visible all night for most Northern Hemisphere observers. Its unusual brightness and relative closeness led to SN2014J becoming the subject of intense follow-up observations by astronomers worldwide, including with the Hubble Space Telescope. Over a hundred scientific papers have discussed the supernova. Topic. Physical properties The relative closeness of the supernova allowed astronomers to study it in much more detail than usual. Type Ia supernovae are especially important as standard candles in physical cosmology, and astronomers hope that SN2014J will help them understand how these supernovae form and evolve. SN2014J was observed by the International Gamma Ray Astrophysics Laboratory, Integral, which detected the gamma ray spectral lines characteristic of the radioactive decay chain 56 Ni 56 Co 56 Fe. This was the first time these lines were detected in a type Ia supernova, providing support for the standard model that this class of supernova produces large quantities of 56 Ni through nucleosynthesis. Observations of the diffuse interstellar bands in the spectrum of the supernova indicated that it lay behind a significant quantity of interstellar medium in M82. The supernova therefore suffered from interstellar extinction, with a reddening of at least one magnitude. 
The degree of light extinction from M82 dust blocking SN2014J reduces its value as an observational prototype for type Ia supernovae, but makes it a powerful probe of the interstellar medium of M82. Researchers used archival images from the Hubble Space Telescope to study the environment of SN2014J prior to the supernova, hoping to identify the progenitor system, but found no identifiable progenitor star. This is not unexpected, because the progenitors of type Ia supernovae are thought to be white dwarfs in binary systems, An observation of SN2014J provided empirical confirmation for this. The white dwarf is much too faint to detect at the distance of M82, but its companion would have been detectable if it had been a bright evolved giant star. It will however remain too faint if it is a second white dwarf the double degenerate type Ia supernova path, a lower main sequence star, or even a giant star on the fainter part of the giant sequence. <laughs> Distance At a distance of 11.5 plus or minus 0.8 million light years, 3.5 plus or minus 0.3 megaparsecs, SN2014J was one of the closest supernovae seen for decades. It was the closest type Ia supernova since SN1972E, and the closest supernova of any type since 2004. Some sources initially stated that SN2014J was the closest supernova of any type since SN1987A, but this claim is erroneous. The last supernova that was unambiguously closer to Earth than SN2014J was SN2004DJ, a Type 2P supernova in the galaxy NGC 2403, 8 million light years from Earth. SN1993J was a type IIB supernova at almost the same distance as SN2014J, because it was located in Messier 81, which together with Messier 82 and NGC 3077 forms the core of the M81 group of galaxies. See also History of supernova observation List of supernovae Topic. References Topic. External links Light curves and spectra on the Open Supernova Catalog